Today we're going to build the stupidest rocket in the history of everything. Because I want to get all of the Omega pieces. Probably going to take a few minutes, but I've got nothing but time. I did just get what we call the Omega Booster. Now that I've unlocked basically everything, let's break some stuff. First of all, we're going to take a crate, we're going to launch out with a coil, and then we're going to attach some rockets to it. Expectations need to be tempered at first, we're not going to go that high yet. But it was high enough to earn us $47. While we're at it, we're going to add not one, but two RC helicopters to the mix and launch it just a little harder. Then it's gonna look like this. The penguin has a helicopter coming straight out of his head. We're going all the way to the moon. Helicopter number two just kicked in. We're making our way very slowly upwards to 8,000 feet somehow. But that was already worth $300, so we're getting good at this. So then let's go ahead and trade out the box for an ejector seat because I just like that one. Coil gets a little bit more upgrade, so we're gonna go higher than ever before. We're not gonna upgrade the helicopter because I don't want to, but this is gonna take us plenty high before launching a penguin helplessly into space. We're we're already at 12,000 feet, so we're going to start earning money pretty quickly. Not sure how high the penguin himself is going to go. That high. 14,000. Worth $500. And that means I'm going to trade on my helicopters for one do-it-yourself rocket and one regular rocket, because variety is important. Then we're going to upgrade the coil to max level. While I'm at it, let's make the ejector seat launch our penguin further. So this time we have big rockets. Look at all that speed, though. We had a pretty good launch. That carries us up further faster, and I always like that speed. Here's the regular rocket that's not so dangerous. But the dangerous part is when he gets launched out of his little chair. But we're at almost 20,000 feet already, so if he wants to end this run now, $663. So if we do this a few quick times, we'll earn some easy money, and then we'll get much better upgrades. A couple of those later, $3,500 to spend on stupidity. So let's try a catapult. It's not very often I get to play with one, so I need to take advantage of this. When we get one, we're going to crank it up to level 6. We're going to fix the ejector seat just a little. We're going to launch an ejector seat penguin out of a catapult. Repeatedly press any button until the catapult is cranked. Stop to let it go. Oh, okay. So we just kind of go like that. And there we go. That's a good launch. We're already at 50,000 feet. And our rockets carry us gracefully up to 60,000 and beyond. 65,000 even. So we're making progress rapidly. That was $2,500. So then I think naturally we're going to add a sonic drive, which has a power of 255. Not entirely sure what that one does. I don't remember, but it's got lots of power and that's all that really matters to me. So there we go on our usual launch. Our speed and drag are both maxed because it's not very aerodynamic. So far we're getting a mean crosswind, but that took us back to 60,000. And then our big whatever that is is going to boost us up a little bit more with the amount of power it is it doesn't really do as much as i'd hoped but once we level it up it sure will there's 72,000 plus the penguin launch so let's increase the ejector seat once the catapult once and i did the sonic drive once the diy will do a few times not sure how much of a difference that's going to make but it is going to make a difference every upgrade puts us just a little bit higher into this guy for a little bit more money this rocket maybe needs to go because it's not carrying us upwards very quickly that was its final one, plus the penguin launch, we broke 90000 $4,500, plus $2 from daily interest. So let's get rid of that rocket and replace it with a sonic burst. I just like the sonic burst. I just think they're neat. Then let's max out that catapult. And while we're at it, the ejector seat too. That way he's comfy and stylish before he's launched into oblivion. There he is at max. Up he goes. That's going very quick. Might have hit a few things along the way. That's their problem. It feels good in a way to hit things along the way. So we're going to keep going up. Our distance is at negative 1000, but our altitude is getting up there. We might break 100 on this one. We didn't break 100,000, but we did make $5,000. I'm also going to attach what's called a steam booster to this. Um, I'm not entirely sure what that does, so we're just going to upgrade it as much as we can. Also, the DIY rocket, every time I upgrade it, it, it gives me a lot of uh, extra stuff for not a lot of money. I have no idea what this is going to do, but it should take us higher into the sky. Ready to go. Good. So far, we're hitting less crap marginally. And we've used a little bit of the steam booster so far, I guess, which is this one currently. Well, so far, we're at 110,000, so we're already 10% further. We also hit a helicopter, but we still have... Oh... We use it like bursts or something. I don't know how this works, but it's carrying us upwards. Okay, so it's got to charge up and get red hot before we release the steam. But that carried us up to 130000 for almost $8,000. So that means we can probably try something other than the ejector seat now. I think we're going to try the volcano. Stronger first stage, but others are weakened. I like the stages anyway because they get us places faster. The uh, other boosters, I'm not such a big fan of anyway. They work, but they're not quick. But this should make the DIY and Sonic Burst hopefully a little bit better. And that just looks wildly unsafe. And we could launch it out of a catapult to boot, so nothing could possibly go wrong with this idea. That's a pretty strong launch. Uh, okay, so we're already up to here. We're at 86, 88,000 feet. 
We have less attachments on this because it's like a toaster or whatever, but we're still going to do pretty good with this. There's 114. Now we get to use our Sonic Burst. It'll take us up to 122. So we made it basically as far with less attachments. So that's a good sign. And now he has to hurdle to the earth inside this thing. $6,300. Which means it's probably time for a new launcher. We're going to go with Steam Shot because it's more power. Pretty sure NASA still hasn't thought about Steam Power. Yeah, I feel like they overlooked hundreds of years of technology. I'm also going to get rid of this auxiliary rocket because it's very weak compared to the technology we have these days. We're going to go for maybe, I think, mini helpers because I think they actually help these stages right away. I might be wrong about that, but I don't care. We're going to stick things onto this rocket and see what happens. Okay, this one's a bit of a tricky launch. We got to hit it when it's in the green zone, I think. Or is it the red zone? I don't know what I just did. I don't know if I'm aiming for green or red there, but we're off. I can already tell I did that one wrong because we're not going super high up. Well, we still got 99,000 feet, but that's not good enough. We probably just need more upgrades. That's really all we need. So so I think we need to get this in either the red or the orange zone. That's how we're going to get us the best launch. Am I right? I feel right. We're even going, okay, we're going upside down, but we're okay. So we're healthily over 110,000 feet already and still climbing strong. Uh, might have just committed an act of terrorism. They'll probably be fine anyway. Whatever the case we're coming up on, well, that might cause us some trouble. Mm, this little stove thing is kind of underwhelming. So we're going to swap that out for the jet because the jet can go very quickly. Okay, I don't love the amount of time this part physically takes because I'm a very busy person, obviously, but it works pretty good. So we're up to... Actually, the deflexing's very nicely too because of its shape. Kind of like the cattle guard on the front of a train, but this one's for knocking planes out of the sky. Big increase so far though, we're already at 150,000. We've still got three boosters to go. Probably should have been using that more along the way. But just switching to this jet and then a few little upgrades has already brought us up to about 200,000 feet. 215,000 feet. Plus whatever that thing is. But that's worth $15,000. So now the upgrades are going to come quicker. Do we want to try the Omega Brick? It weighs 50 pounds, but it has 666 conquest, war, famine, and death. I don't know what we're supposed to do with this, and the upgrades cost $10,000 each. I feel like we're just adding a lot of weight, and I'm not really sure what the advantage uh, of that is. Because I think this is really going to work against us in a big way. Unless it helps us with momentum somehow, but that still doesn't really make sense to me. But full disclosure here, I'm not a physicist. I don't really know how anything works. But I feel like considering the price of it, we could get better upgrades than a brick. We're going to try the rocket boost instead um, because it's very expensive and uh, obviously expensive means good. Probably anyways. I also want to swap out this launcher because this little minigame is kind of annoying me. But we did have a pretty good launch. There's 100,000 feet already. We're definitely hitting a lot of things on our way up, but we're still on our way up. The rocket booster seems pretty good. Uh, I still like that one the best just because it's such quick, easy speed. When we broke 200,000, we might get 210,000 if we're lucky. That one was worth $15,000. So what we're going to do now is add the uh, dark matter thing to can make us lighter. We're 29 pounds currently, now we're 24. Then we're gonna upgrade the Sonic Drive because it really deserves some attention. This will be an interesting test though to see exactly what making ourselves lighter does because we're way lighter than we were last run. That was a bit of an awkward launch given everything we just hit but we're going 120 already so I'm optimistic. We also hit a meteor. I think this, well, we hit a meteor twice. This would have been a better run had we not hit a bunch of things, but we're still doing pretty good. So we're going to swap our launch out for the nuclear reactor because I'm pretty sure that's a nice easy one to work with. Because we just have to watch. We don't physically have to do anything and risk a weird launch. Now push us up a little bit higher than before. See, already there's 230,000 feet. So that was easy progress. So, so then, then we, we just need to do that, that a few times. times. And then we can buy what's called the Omega Boosters. I don't know much about them, but they look nice. They did add some weight though, so we're going to shave off a little bit of weight. And I don't entirely know what this is going to look like. Oh, those are nice big boosters. They fit my jet very well too. Uh, I feel like they're going to be pushing us way fast. Normally we can't carry that kind of speed. They do run out of fuel fairly quickly, but I don't blame them because they give us a lot of lift. But they also hurry, helped carry us up to about 255000 otherwise known as $18,000. Or enough for several nuclear reactor upgrades, which carried us very lazily past 260000 Remember when we used to fly a box into the air? Now we're making $20,000 per run. So then once we do a few of those, we can buy what's called the Omega Shuttle, which has a top speed of 50, which is the fastest thing I've ever seen. Plus it gets full attachments right from the beginning. It is a little bit heavy. Uh, luckily, I probably have a solution for that. We just add more power. So we're going to see exactly how this works. So far, that's a nice launch. It's pretty deflective in its shape. We're already up to almost 200,000 feet, so I'm going to like this one. 
Especially when we add the other boosters to it. It absolutely needs those. This should be a new record. We're already at 240,000. We're not even done with our first boosters. There's 300,000. So this shuttle made a big difference and it's not even upgraded yet. 340,000. Four, five, six thousand for twenty-seven thousand dollars, which I think means we can buy another Sonic Burst. They're so unbelievably cheap that how could we not? And that's going to help us get some easy, quick altitude. And quick is the name of the game. The biggest challenge right now is going to be making enough money to continually buy the upgrades because the makeup parts are very expensive. And here's the stronger of the little Sonic Burst, which put us over four hundred thousand. So every upgrade now is making a big, big difference. And now that we're making thirty-five thousand dollars per run, it won't be long. But upgrade things uh definitely is going to get expensive that's twenty five thousand dollars for the first upgrade which basically increases top speed also better nuclear reactor max level and that's going to make for a wonderful fast launch the carrot is up to four hundred and twenty five thousand feet 36 grand. So then after doing that just a few times, we have $109,000, which means I can try either the Omega Balloon or Omega Rocket. The Balloon suspiciously has more power, but rockets are rockets, so we're going to try one of those. And then we're going to cut some weight off our rocket again, down to 55 pounds. So now we've got many rockets. Oh, we're pushing ourselves downwards. That wasn't a great launch because we hit a bunch of things, but we're still up to 200,000 feet. And that rocket has lots of fuel to work with. I feel like we're just continually adding rockets onto absolutely everything at this point. We're adding rockets onto our rockets. And this one alone carried us to 430,000 feet, and we still got three other boosters to work with, which carried us up to 555,000. It really won't be long now till we're leaving orbit. That was also worth 55 grand, which makes me think we should just buy the Omega Coil right now also because it's going to be an even stronger launcher. Very oh, expensive yeah. to upgrade, but strong. Then I guess with our little bit of extra money, we'll just reduce the weight a little bit more. And now we're launching a <laughs> rocket off of a coil. NASA, take notes. So the coil uh, brought us up to 635,000 and we're only going to upgrade it more and more from here. 66, 647. So let's just do that one more time. That way we can get rid of a sonic drive and put on a balloon. We're going to add an Omega balloon for some reason. I don't entirely know what that's going to do. That's not really a great launch. That's okay. We'll just correct our course a little bit and we'll be just fine after we stop hitting everything ever. So there's the balloon giving me power out the rear. That's actually pretty good. It's not exactly slow, actually. I said it was slow. It feels slow, but it's not. It's carrying us very quickly by itself. All the way up to about 700,000 worth $77,000. So I'm going to sell a Sonic Burst at this point for another Omega rocket because you can never have too many Omega get things there we go now we're looking sharp uh okay yep don't know where we're going great that helped carry us up to 830,000. so every time we add an omega part good things happen uh from here forward we're probably going to be making a hundred thousand dollars per run so let's get rid of the uh rocket boosters and get more omega stuff this time we're going to add more omega boosters those are surprisingly cheap so let's give each of these a level up and then also the shuttle needs to be leveled up also still need to do the launcher there we go we got more rockets now we're going the wrong way again but once we get all those rockets pointed in the right direction we move very fast okay that brought us over 1 million feet already so that happened very quick so since these guys are so cheap anyway let's buy more of these and then probably more of these again if we can afford that then we can upgrade our omega coil a few times i feel like i'm sponsored by omega products at this point wow listen to the sound it makes okay the loud part is over we're up to 450,000. the balloon seems so quiet in contrast but that's going to carry us right past 1 million plus the uh shuttle burst almost 1.1 but speaking of which we're going to get rid of the sonic burst and we're going to add you guessed it an omega rocket plus let's give this coil some more love so this is actually be the first time we launch with all omega stuff and it's only going to get better from here okay we're already going max speed right now so we don't really need to use the other rockets now we can there we go it's so loud and it's not the most maneuverable but lucky for us most objects move out of the way once we hit them 172,000 already the upgrades are going to come super quick now i hardly know where to start Maybe just on the coil, which we've already got to max level. That's going to launch us at lightning speed all the way up to four or 500,000. Was a bit of a weird run, hit a lot of stuff, still 1.4 million up. I think what would really help is more top speed though. I think that's why our radar, our speedo keeps going red because we're going beyond really what our top speed should be. Not sure if I'm understanding that correctly, but we're going faster now. I think that actually made a huge difference. We had a really bad launch, but like when we first launched, I couldn't even see the rocket anymore. My biggest enemy now is absolutely space debris. We still made 1.6 million, but we're hitting so much stuff along the way that really factors in a lot. But we're making so much money, we can upgrade our shuttle to max level. 
max level omega so let's see if we can get a look at this launch that's not in fast forward mode by the way we're just launching that hard now and then when we apply the rockets we get this strange sound and off we go that one carried us up to 1.64 million we made 240 thousand dollars space debris is really annoying me so let's upgrade one of our omega rockets fifty thousand dollars per upgrade to start and it's already up to 185 thousand per upgrade but i think it's making a difference as long as we aren't going upside down and i realized i could probably do better um times like this when the speed is naturally in the green bar waiting for the next rocket basically i theorized that if i wait for this moment right here where the first rockets run out then i use these rockets that still carries us into the red zone anyway we'll just go a lot further this way and that seems to be fairly true overall 1.8 million i am kind of curious though if i sell one of the omega boosters and put on the weight reduction thing would that actually be better because each one of these is going to make a big difference to the weight like we already went from 90 something to 77.8 and if we do a bunch of these we're going to be like Wow, half the weight we were before. Kind of diminishing returns now, but we have too much money, so we're going to take this down to 43 pounds. Kind of excited to see what happens here. That's a... Well, we're a little bit sideways in all directions, but it's a pretty good launch overall. So I'm going to let these rockets burn out their fuel. The weight reduction seems to be helping. Uh, I didn't mean to hit that. Sorry, alien, but we're already at 1.85 million. And we're coming up on 2 million. Are we going to hit it? We just broke 2 million. And that's worth 320 grand by itself. But now I'm curious to see if we can make it lighter. Like if we had another uh, weight reduction thing, is this going to have a fresh start to weight reduction? Sure is. There's 35 pounds and that's going to get much lighter. So this thing went from... Uh, 90 something pounds to about 20 pounds and given these initial rockets that should help a lot plus i bet it's going to be fast not sure if this last weight reduction was worth it we did cut ourselves down to like half the weight but we're losing out on a lot of rocket power at the same time okay it wasn't worth it but one thing i've been meaning to play with is this button that says hack into the matrix once we open that that means we can adjust basically anything we want so say we want to give ourselves 1.5 boost power instead and 1.5 boost fuel Basically 1.5 everything, except for weight. We're going to leave weight right alone. Wind, we're going to turn down to zero because it annoys me. Money, we might as well turn up to about 100. Obstacle amount, we're also going to turn to zero. Obstacle weight, zero. This should be an interesting result. It should launch here. Yeah, okay, we already boosted up to a million. It's so much easier when there's nothing in your way. And that brings us up to 4.8 million feet. The game doesn't seem to love being here right now. There's a lot of stuttering going on. It also had to give us 118 million dollars for that. So we'll take one of our rocket boosters up to level 10, which is the max level. I don't think its appearance changed though. Okay, then on top of that, we're just going to go number three across the board on everything. So we're doubling it again. At some point, the game is going to give up and quit. And that's probably going to be sooner than later. Where we're at it, let's uh, upgrade our rocket to higher max top speed. That way it can go quicker. And also the launch coil, we might as well give it more power too. Oh, we've only got 112 million dollars left over. Keep in mind, this isn't on fast forward mode, but we're already <laughs> 5 million feet into the air. We already broke our record from last time. Uh, there's 10 million. Again, this isn't on fast forward mode. If we do hit fast forward, it's ridiculously fast. Plus, when I do this, we're going in fast forward mode. Look how little fuel we're using. We're at 15 million feet and we're basically not using fuel. 46 hours later, we're at 41 million feet. The game is still surviving though, so we can do better. Uh, bad news though, we lost money. Minus 810 million. But I think we could probably change things around to hurt the game. So we're going to sell some of these. Oh, we can't because we don't have any money. What we, we can do in lieu of that is 0.1 for weight, and then we're going to go 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Then we can also change our drag in red zone. I think the lower number is more to our advantage. So this might break the game. It also might not. We're going to launch and find out. I th think it broke. The rocket sounds like it's moving... I think it actually is, but, you know, nothing else is. I thought we'd be able to push it a little bit further than that, but the dragon red zone might have been the end of it, so... That's okay, we still got lots of fun ideas to work with for this one, but we hit 42 million feet, and that's a personal best. 